gift certificate purchases are at an all-time high in the month of December. Some of you may run a business where creating a gift certificate would be an amazing fit for you. It's a great way to bring loyal customers back to your storefront and it's also another fantastic strategy to attract brand new people. So in this video I'm going to walk you through how to make your own gift certificate. If you have not signed up for my VIP vault which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So before I hop into the gift certificate tutorial, I want to let you know that all of my thumbnails and animations are created directly in Canva. So if you would like for me to make a video about how I design my YouTube graphics, let me know in the comments and I'll take care of that. Now today we're going to walk through how to create your own gift certificate and I'm also going to throw in how to make your own coupon because the two are very closely related. So if you are running a storefront business, perhaps you want people to come inside your store and buy a gift certificate to use as a gift for someone else, but you may want to run specials and encourage your existing customers with the use of coupons. So we'll go through both of those within Canva. So if you go to the home page, currently you're going to see the gift certificate on the top menu. Now this changes based on the things that you click on and the time of year. So if you don't see this, you can always search for it in the search bar. The gift certificate is a six inch by four inch design. So if that is not the size that you want to print out, make sure you resize your graphic before you go to print. If we click on gift certificate, there are a few quirky things about this particular design that I want you to be aware of. Number one is some of these designs are not double sided. So if we scroll down, you're going to see all results. Above that, you'll see some quick categories like hair salon, photography, restaurant, Mother's Day, etc. But if you click on this first design for Snooky's Cookies, you'll see that this only has a single page. So if you were to design one similar to Snooky's Cookies, you would have a white background on the back of your gift certificate. And that could be fine for you. But if you have a lot of information to communicate and you do want to use both sides, you'll want to use a design that has the one of two in the bottom right hand corner and when you hover they'll show you the second page so this particular one is double sided and as you continue to go down you'll see the difference between a single sided one and a double sided one now if I want to use the front side of one design and the back of another I can do that within Canva so say for instance if I want the Snooky's cookies front but I prefer to have the back side, let's see, maybe of this particular design that gives all the terms, then I can just paste it in on another page. Now you'll see the styling is not the same, but you can click the different elements to change it to match your brand. So if I wanted to change this, I could pull in that same blue from the top. These are gradient objects. So I could choose a different color like blue and it would still have a little bit of that gradient look. And so you see how I could modify this design to match a bit more closely to the top. If you don't want it, you can always delete it. So again, you've got a bunch of different options. Some of them have photos on them, like this particular design and the photo is actually the background and this object is hovering over top of the image. So if you want to change the color of that, you can just click on it and change the color here. If you want to change the background, what I recommend doing is double clicking on it. And then you can either say done when you're done cropping it where you want it. Or you can click on the image and just delete it and replace it with whatever you'd like. If you want to include an image from your store, that may be a better fit. 
So say for instance, if we do these two designs, if this is our final gift certificate, that's our front and this is our back, what we need to do when we're all done is click on the top right hand corner and click on PDF print. If you're going to send this to a printer, you may want to select crop marks and bleed because these um, designs do not take up an entire sheet of paper. So for a professional printer, what they're going to do is fit as many as they can on a single page and their fancy machines will cut out your design. If you're doing a design that's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you don't typically need to worry about crop marks and bleed. But the crop marks and bleed tells the printer exactly where to cut your design and it keeps your elements from being cut off. So if I were to go ahead and download that, what Canva will do is prepare that design for you and then open it up and you'll see what I mean. What they will do is they will trim the white off and it will keep them from cutting off any part of your design. So if you're sending it away, that is the safest way to make sure that your design stays intact when you send it to print. Now the other thing that you could do is if you just wanted to use this as a post in an email, you know, maybe you like the layout of the gift certificate, but you don't actually want to print them, then you can just download a PNG, select the page that you want, and now you have the format of a gift certificate, but you have it saved as an image. So you decide how you want to use these. If you want to email the gift certificate after it's purchased in your store, you can just download the image. If you want to print it, I would recommend the printable PDF that has the crop marks and bleed. Now, if we go back to the home page, you can also click on coupon. So if you want to do coupons this time of year to drive traffic to your business, there are a few designs available. Personally, I really like these. I see a lot of hairstylists and uh, massage therapist places do this to offer discounts on various services and they put different discount expiration dates on the different sections. So maybe you run a 10% off um, a cut or a color in January, but then in February you could run a special on nails. So you can decide how you want to format it. I like this particular one because you have three coupons on the same page, but you can also do four on a page or you can do one on a page if you're running a holiday special. Say if you're running a Black Friday sale, a Cyber Monday sale, this is a great place to look for Canva graphics. And here are a bit more uh, modern takes on the stackable coupon. So I think the combination of coupons and gift certificates is a fantastic way to drive sales to your business during the holiday season and in the month of January. So now I want you to grab a pen and paper for the secret word. The secret word is special. If you haven't already written down the word for day number one, make sure you go back and watch how to create a printable calendar. These tutorials are part of the Canva Create-a-thon, a fun way for me to show you how to use Canva and give away a Squarespace website valued at $2,000 from About 90 Marketing. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for participating. If you have not already given this video a thumbs up, I would love that. Do not forget to subscribe so that you're notified when the next video in the Canva Creative-Thon goes live. Until next time, ta-ta for now.